What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and today I have a review finally of the Star Ace Ray Harryhausen's Kwanji soft vinyl figure. Cowboys battle monsters in the lost world of Forbidden Valley, that's right, in the Valley of the Kwanji. Um, I've been looking forward to doing this review for quite a while. Never did get to uh, review the Allosaurus, which I always found to be the sister brother of the Kwanji. Um, I, I will eventually, but this was still within the time frame of being able to do this before the end of the year. And you know, this one came out this year, and I really wanted to get this one done. You got Ray Harris on one side, Kwanji on the other. As you can tell, this is a really big box. You have like a 30 centimeter figure. So pretty, pretty huge. This is what the back of the box looks like. All of that going on. This is awesome stuff, man. Uh, and again, I'm really happy I'm having a chance to review this before year's end. There you go, guys. I got this uh, uh, through my pals at Kaiju Labs, so, uh, you know, use them to order your stuff. But without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here's the Kwanji out of the package, and oh my god, it's so awesome. I did unbox this once in, uh, you know, a haul video, on a, it wasn't its own unboxing, but some sort of haul video, but I haven't, like, touched it since, and man, yeah, there's a reason why I, I made a list of things that I needed to review by the end of the year, and, and then I whittled it down to stuff that I really thought might have a good chance to make in my tops of the year and uh this guy was on it this guy i knew i had to get done uh because just i mean look at it <laughs> so this guy doesn't have any articulation but um I, it doesn't need it you know it doesn't need it for my collection um it's i i i get them all you know articulated not articulated um this is just mind-blowingly cool there are a couple of imperfections here and there but for the most part this is this is what you want to see when someone is tackling a Harryhausen classic um man and I've wanted to get more from this line I've only gotten two but whew, look at this thing look at the sculpt work and yeah I don't get too many x plus full-size x plus star a stuff because it's just get i mean it's huge <laughs> you know and it takes up a lot of space um and it's pricey but man yeah kwanji was one i had to get i love the texture on this guy sculpt work is magnificent look at this tail so well done i really like the paint this looks really really good tail is phenomenal and yeah there's a you know sort of um gorosaurus feel to kwanji you know i highly recommend valley to kwanji it's very very cool really cool movie i love this tail really really good beautiful i love all the segments feels amazing nice texture again Beautiful sculpt work, beautiful paint on the tail. And, you know, this part down here gradiates, you know, as you get down towards the end. And then coming back up towards the belly. Look at all that work. Really, really great. All the way to the neck. It just looks phenomenal, guys. It really, really does. I do feel like I have a little bit of ploppy paint bit there, but... Because my eye goes there for some reason. But it's not, it's really, really not that bad. The only other spot where, oh, you know what? It's, whatever it is, it's coming off. Oh, may not, may have created a hole in the paint or whatever this is. Stuck in here. Let's see if I can get it out. All right, for the most part, I was able to uh, clean that up. So that's pretty cool. Good, good, because that was one of the points I was going to, uh, you know, point out. 
Uh, I love his rib cage. Let's move on. The legs are really nicely musculatured, as you can see. Look at all of this. This is incredible. Beautiful. It's got that old school dinosaur feel. Look at that. Scooting on down. Scoot, scooty, scooties. Looks amazing. Oh, man, all the scaling looks incredible. Love the little uh, hind leg there, hind nail, fore leg. No? Foretoe? <laughs> uh, looks awesome. Either way. Back claw? It's not a back claw. But I love the nails. I love the way they're painted. They look fantastic. Legs are awesome. All these osteoderms. <sighs> awesome. And then he's got a little bit of like a little dorsal fin, a little ridge back here. Then it's all folded back there. Beautiful. Around the neck area. Which is good. You can see that's where they like glued it in. But they, they covered it up well with all the folds and wrinkles there. So that's pretty cool. And then... You got the uh, head here. Oh, man. Look at all of these lines. Deep, deep lines in there. Really good all on the head as well. The osteoderms continue. It's got a little ear hole there, I would think. That's pretty cool. I like how this piece on the neck looks. The arms, before we move all the way to the head, look amazing. The little nails there look good. All the folds and wrinkles. I love the folds and wrinkles over here. This is cool. Around the rib cage. And that's pretty nice. Interesting looking. Kind of gnarly. I like that a lot. I do, I do. So getting back to this amazing head. Um, or getting to this amazing head, really. The jaw looks really great. Then you got the teeth in there. Looking pretty good. Got pink sinewy stuff in there. The tongue. Looks very, very nice. The upper mouth looks phenomenal. Teeth. Again, all the teeth look great. All nicely accounted for. Nose is very nice. And then the eyes look really, really good. Glassy. Check that out. Really nicely done. Beautiful looking. That's... That's a gorgeous head sculpt, guys. Really, really nicely done. Man, this guy is super heavy, super incredible. Nice pose lunging forward. Or just like to kind of turn around and being like, yo, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he's saying here. Yo, I'm here. Uh, and I'm going to place high on your tops of the year. I uh, hope I didn't mess anything up for you. But I knew you were going to be on there. That's why I needed to do you. So, and, whew. Can you blame me? Can you? This is beautiful. And for your size comparisons, here is the Kwanji with the Star Ace Allosaurus. The, uh, also X Plus, actually, the old Kong 33 Meat Eater. It's a T-Rex. Meat Eater. <laughs> They're T-Rex. It's only Meat Eater in the script, guys. Just Let's remember that, okay? Uh, it, never in the actual movie. And uh, the Rebor Retrosaurus in Valley Colors. So, uh, you know, it's interesting because in my mind's eye, I always pictured the Kwanji being more colored like the allosaurus but they're these guys are all family so this this one is like more of a tribute to the whole like harryhausen style dinosaur more than specific one i think uh but yeah this is i mean you know this one was worked on by willis o'brien and stuff but um you know it, it's it's definitely part of this conversation and my final thoughts this is a stunning figure i did have a couple of problems with it i thought early on but i've dismissed them ever since this is almost a flawless figure in my opinion this looks amazing 
looks like Quanji. It just looks really, really good in general. Just an amazing looking old style dinosaur figure. Kind of Allosaurus-y. Um, you know, as you saw, it's very similar to the uh, Harry Heisen's own Allosaurus from, you know, 1 million BC. It's just a, an amazing aesthetic, you know? I love Harry Heisen's dinosaurs. Just beautiful stuff. Uh, and this figure just blows me away. It's so good. It really, really is. I love it. It's just the sculpt is incredible. The paint is beautiful. I mean, it's Star Ace, aka, you know, X Plus. And uh, th this job is just superb. It really is. And there you go, guys. High marks from me, and uh, it's definitely placing high on my list. Uh, definitely uh, a top 10 figure here, you know? I mean, some of these figures down the stretch, I knew, you know, I knew they were gonna be uh, placing on on the list. I just didn't know how high, but uh, Quan G uh, definitely deserves it. Awesome figure. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Until next time. Peace out.